disclaimer, this instructional tool is created to enable students to develop their test taking skills. The question or questions and answer or answers contained in this instructional video were patterned after the official publicly access samples from the RN test plan of the National Council of State Boards of Nursing or NCSBN. The discussions and rationale presented in the video are based on the lecturer's research and are meant to provide an explanation for the answer or answers to the question or questions that is or are presented. The lecturer makes no claim directly implied or otherwise that the rationale discussed is officially endorsed by NCSBN. Okay, good day learners. This time around, we're going to talk about magnesium sulfate. And let me begin my discussion with a question. What is the purpose of administering magnesium sulfate to a patient with pregnancy-induced hypertension? To enable us to answer that question towards the end of our discussion, let's begin by recalling some concepts. First, let's have our framework. Remember, when we study medications, we always have to know five important things about a specific drug. And this is contained in the, the code check. Okay, meaning we have to know the classification of the drug, how to evaluate the effects of the drug, exactly what time is the drug best given, client teaching tips related to the medication, and then keys to giving it safely. Okay, so let's talk about magnesium sulfate using the check framework. So the classification, it's an anticonvulsant, and at the same time, it's a tocolytic agent. As a tocolytic, it has the capacity to relax the uterus, okay? So as an anticonvulsant, it helps prevent seizures from occurring. So how would we know that it's effective? Definitely there's gonna be um, negative convulsions or seizures and definitely the patient's preterm labor is stopped or slowed. And then administer it as prescribed by the physician. A common side effect is diarrhea. And we need to keep the antidote, calcium gluconate, at the bedside. Now, when a patient is actually taking magnesium sulfate, we need to assess four things. And we have the code BURP. We, uh, we need to assess blood pressure, urine output, which should be at least 30 ml per hour. Respiratory rate should be at least 12 per minute. And patellar reflex, or your deep tendon reflex. Remember the code BURP. Okay, and then always remember the therapeutic level of magnesium sulfate is 3.5 to 7 milli equivalent per liter. Now, what happens when the respiratory rate of the patient is not slowed, but it increases to be on 25 per minute? Now, that could also be a danger sign because it could mean that the patient is developing pulmonary edema. So once again, that should be something that you need to report to the physician. Okay, so let's go back to the question that we posted a while back. What is the purpose of administering magnesium sulfate to a patient with pregnancy-induced hypertension? Okay, very simple answer. It prevents the occurrence of convulsive seizures in a patient with pregnancy-induced hypertension. So remember that main concept related to magnesium sulfate. So it's shout out time once again. Congratulations to a lady from Tugigarao who took her classes at our Agapis Manila. Sherry May Javier, USRN, who passed the state board exam for the state of Illinois last July 14, 2020. These are the ladies who have the guts to take their tests while the pandemic is actually reaching its peak. So it should never stop us from fulfilling our dreams. Let as turn your great American dreams to reality, and we're just here to help you out. So once again, from your RA Gapus family, congratulations. Let's learn together. For more instructional videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Gapus Mentors, and my Facebook page, Mentor Ray.